What's up, everybody? Uh, my name is Jasmine. Welcome back to the video. I'm not happy with that angle. Come on, better angle. There we go. That's better. How you guys doing? Uh, it's a little bit different video today uh, because I'm asking y'all a question. Uh, normally, I just tell y'all stuff. Today, I'm asking for advice. And keep in mind, I'm doing research on this on my own, but I want y'all's opinion. So, y'all have seen my Ruger American Rimfire and my Mossberg 88. Um, and you also know, uh, a little, in case you didn't, uh, I'm not really a fan of just matte black on firearms. I know, it's weird. But um, I'm more of a fan of FDE or tan or even green. Um, and I don't, my thing is, I don't want to just spray paint my guns. I really don't want to do that I just feel that's trashy and I'm gonna screw it up so as just on the title I got a question um, I, I just want more information of course I'm doing my own research but in your opinions is it better to say wrap my guns my shotgun and the uh, rifle or would it be better to find a place to get it and it properly anodized or Cerakoted or something like that like um from what I understand, if I was to get it properly Cerakoted and stuff, uh, the color would be more durable. But wrapping is cheaper. Um, and I, here's my issue. is It's cheaper. But I've seen some instances where people say it's more expensive, and but cheaper in the long run. So I, I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I'm still doing research on it, but I thought I'd ask y'all. And also, when it comes to durability... I've, it's like 50-50. I look and some people say wrapping is just as durable, if not more durable, than seroconing or anodizing versus... And then some say, no, it's a lot less. You know, I put 100 rounds to it and my wrap came off. And, and again, I'm sure it comes down to wrap quality. You got to find someone that wraps the gun properly and has a, the, the wrap is actually of good quality. I don't know. Um, because what I'm thinking is for the, uh, for the shotgun... I don't want to do the whole barrel. Like, when you buy shotguns, you generally see the whole barrel done with the design. I just want to do the stock portion. And I'm thinking about doing, like, a olive drab, like a green for that. But on the Ruger uh, American Rimfire, I want to do, like, it's going to sound weird, but I want a white. But not just, like, flat white. I want, like, a... Um, and that this is where the anodizing would not be good compared to a wrap is I want a designed white like I want it like glacier white but where you can actually have like you see cracks and stuff in the ice of the glacier and I don't know if that's possible through anodizing or seracoding so I might have to go with a wrap on that but that's why I wanted to ask y'all get yours opinion um so yeah if you can leave any advice or maybe some if you know the name of some companies that do it um, uh, I guess, I guess it'd be useful if you put them, like, in, uh, around Houston, Pearland, Texas area, which is kind of where I live, um, because I don't want to drive, you know, like, all the way to Ohio, or, you know, to Cerakote my gun, or something like that, so, if y'all are in, like, the local, even, like, I don't know, southeastern Texas area, uh, you know, if you know a place that does decent work for either anodizing or wrapping or e anything like that, because y'all let me know. Um, I'm still doing research into what I want to do, but uh, I thought I'd ask y'all, bring y'all in, since y'all have seen the guns and seem to appreciate them as much as I do. So, anyway, let me know y'all opinions in the comment below. I thank you for any opinion you give. As always, make sure to check out on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, Jasmine Gaming across the board. As always, stay jazzy.